easily all-time, if not the all-time winningest team at Doran High School. 1985, 2002, and 2012. Two of those three teams coached by one Johnny Wright. We'd like to take just a moment and call the full roster out of the 2002 Dora Bulldogs. Number one, Justin Phillips. Number two, Marquise Chapel. Number three, Randy Parker. Number four, Wesley Butler. Number five, Stephen Harris. Number six, Jacob Sides. Number seven, Ryan Muncher. Number eight, Stephen Berry. Number nine, George Williams. Number 10, Todd Corley. Number 11, Todd Coach Wright, give me a thumbs up. This was a quarterfinals team, correct? Very good football team. Thank you, gentlemen, for not just your years in 2002, but for continuing to represent the Dora Bulldogs in your community. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm Maggie Laycock, marketing coordinator with Ken Glover Drug located in Dora. I would like to personally invite you for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience for all of your pharmacy and your DME needs. We supply things like wheelchairs, seat lift chairs, hospital beds, patient lifts, home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP and nebulizers. DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME as it's often referred to, is a covered benefit with almost all insurances and King Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. So stop on in and see us and talk to a rep on how these items can best benefit you. Good evening, football fans, and welcome in to another exciting Friday night of high school football here on the Dora High School Football Network. 
Buddy Sparkman with you tonight. Coming to you from Horace Roberts Field in Dora, Alabama. As the Dora Bulldogs get ready to open up regional play tonight against the Curry Yellow Jackets. Joining me here on the pregame show, Dora High School head football coach, Chavis Williams. And first of all, coach, welcome in. Uh, glad to be back home tonight. Uh, yes, sir. It's always good to play at home. Um, you know, just excited about this game tonight. Open up region play. You know, the real season starts tonight. So I like what I've seen from practice this week. Coach, you got two games under your belt, playing a lot of youngsters. Uh, some very, very important snaps they took, and I, it's probably helped build them a little bit for the region play that is coming up. Yes, sir, I can, I can agree to that. Um, we all know well, we all know the big elephant in the room is um, everybody, you know, going to attack us up front, and we have worked really hard on that um, really since the start of the season, but you never know until you really get to playing. And I felt like, and to go back to – Scheduling games, I wanted to really see what we're about um, before we start region play. And we got an idea, and I think we're going to have a little bit of identity moving forward. And um, the guys have responded the right way. Um, and so we're just excited to start region play, like I mentioned before. Coach, a new region this year, a lot of familiar teams uh, we're in it with. We're going to be seeing Cordova. We're going to be seeing Corner, Oak Grove, Northside, Hamilton, Haleville. But tonight's opponent. Uh, coming off a big win last week, the Curry Yellow Jackets coming in. Give us your thoughts on them. Um, I think that that is a team that really gets after it. Um, you know, they Coach Emerson does a great job, you know, and um, they're, they're going to be in here with confidence. You know, they're just coming off breaking that streak. Um, and they, them guys do a really good job over there. And, um, you know, we're we not we – not, I don't want nobody. We All week has been – you know how – it is, you know, when you got the general fan just talk about a game, we, we don't we treat everybody the same. I know that's cliche, coach speak, whatever you want, but we really do do that. So we've been taking this one just like we will another one. And um, we, we, we're prepared for their best shot, um, but I like our chance. And, Coach, finally tonight going to be honoring a team that you was probably a freshman on the 02 team uh, when they, 20 years ago now. I tell you what, it don't seem like that, that many years ago, but you come up at a time – when Coach Johnny Wright got here, boy, I tell you, some impressive ball players from back in that way. Yes, sir, and I actually was an eighth grader. Marquis Chapel was in the same grade with me, but, I mean, Marquis was going to seem like he started for six years. But uh, he was um, – that was really special, you know, that, just that whole era um, of door football, kind of, you know, coming out of um, some bad years. Um, um, no, don't care whose fault it is, but the community was really good for the community, and um, they, they need to be honored. And um, so do other teams coming in the future, and we're going to do our best to recognize each and every successful program, football program in Door history. And uh, we're excited to have them back tonight. Hopefully we'll give them a good show. Um, got some guys that ain't been back in a while, but they still bleed that blue and gold. Um, you look on that wall over there, you know, 2002 was a very special season, um, third round of the playoffs. Um, that's very good. Not many. That means you were one of the best teams in the state, and um, I still, them guys still keep in touch to this day. Coach, appreciate you joining us. We're going to look forward to defending our house tonight and get out of here with a big W. Thank you so much, Coach, for coming in. Friends, remember all of our sponsors here on the Door High School Bulldog Network that take care of us every week. They're so good to be here with us and make this broadcast available. Go by and let them know you appreciate them being with us and everything they do for this program. We're going to step out for a break. We'll come back with more comments and get ready for tonight's kickoff between the Door Bulldogs and the Curry Yellow Jackets. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. At Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans, and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, as we get things ready to kick off here from Horace Roberts Field. Thank you for joining us on the Door High School Bulldogs pregame show. Buddy Spartan stepping in with us now. Our longtime broadcast partner, Mr. Greentop, Tony Hedrick. 
Our producer director, Mr. Donnie Yard, technical director, Noah Sumner, and Tony. Uh, glad to be back home tonight. And glad to get into regional play and uh, look forward to a good ball game here tonight. Yeah, it is. You know, Curry's coming off of a win that's broke a long losing streak. You know, Dora, you know, played two really good football teams to start the season with. So this is going to be a, a good test to get into the region now. The record starts over at 0-0. Zero and zero. Yeah, it ought to be an exciting ball game tonight. It'll be the 59th meeting between Dora and Curry. All-time series record, Dora 41-13-4 and four over Curry. So look forward to getting region play started off on a good foot. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to mention tonight's Elite Roofing Company Scholar Athlete of the Week. And, Tony, this kid, I've known him since he was very young, number 12, Cole Chapman. One more good football player. Yeah, he is. He's just a throwback football player, just hard-nosed, you know, gritty player. Does just a tremendous job on the football field, tremendous job playing baseball. And he gets it done, like you said, in the classroom. And also last week's. Elite Roofing Football, uh, excuse me, Elite Roofing Scholar Athlete of the Week. As we mentioned last week, number 13, James Mata, another fine young man that we want to uh, mention his name one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, our Scholar Athlete of the Week is brought to you by our good friend Kyle Chance and all the good folks down at Elite Roofing. If you have roofing needs, call them. No better folks to deal with. The Wilson Machinery Player of the Game, Tony, last week, Jamarcus Goodman, as he has been several times, 130 yards on the ground last week. And as Jamarcus goes, we talk about door Bulldogs. Go look for him to have a big game tonight. Yeah, well, as we did a lot better job. You know, he, he may have been the player of the game, but really you got to take the offensive line struggled in week one against Winfield, but came back last week and opened a few holes. Sometimes, you know, got the ball back down into the 20 a few times, just not able to have some points. But looked like he may have scored once in the game and, and the ball may have came out after it had been down, but still, uh, Jamarcus Goodman did a, just a great job like he's done so, since he's been at Dora, just finding the hole and just using his athleticism. And again, our Scholar Athlete of the Week last week, Jamarcus Goodman. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break, step out, get ready to come back for tonight's opening kickoff between Dora Bulldogs and the Curry Yellow Jackets. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. At Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans, and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Hey, Dad, now that school's back in session, let's give them a mattress lesson. Okay. Is Dover's Mattress Closeout Center a true closeout center, or is it just a name on the wall? Kids, Dover's Mattress Closeout Center is not just a name on a building. We truly acquire and sell scuffed, discontinued closeout mattresses and adjustable beds discounted on average 40 to 50% off. Wow. That was better than a math lesson, but remember the sloss that frost. Oh, boy.
If you need new tires or you need a tire repaired, come see Braden and Brian Williams at the new ABC Tire and Repair on Highway 78. They have new and used tires with all the equipment to mount and balance them professionally. They perform tire rotating and balance. They can patch your tire, plug your tire, mount and balance, and tire pressure sensor and more. If you need a new or used set of tires, let them price a set for you at ABC Tire and Repair. Give them a call at 205-255-6194. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready to get things underway here from Horace Roberts Field. Tony Downfield before the game tonight, we was talking about it a moment ago, they presented players from the 2002 Dora High School team, went all the way to a third round matchup in the playoffs against Litchfield before we getting knocked out. But I'll tell you one thing, I have one heck of a good ball team. Yeah, well, it's a really fun team to watch all year long, you know, run into it in the playoffs that night at bus hall against Litchfield, but still, you, you cannot talk about the t that team unless you talk about the interception return. There's somewhere between 40 to 90 yards now by Justin Blevins against Madison Academy. I mean, we cannot be remiss without saying that, but, but I'll, I'll say this, that team really just to, you know, just you listen to, to all those names, just brought back some memories. It's just some very great athletes that come through Dora at that time. Yeah, they did, Tony, but – Justin Blevins, uh, tell me if I'm right or not, is Justin actually the first ever six-star athlete come out of high school? It's, it's 6.2, actually. 6.2. <laughs> I, I, knew he, I knew he was outstanding. Uh, I tell you, between, between him and Bradley is below on that team and a few others, I don't know how he kept them fed, to be honest with you. And Troy Miller. You can't <laughs> – you're Miller, really talking yeah. about eating. You got really, to look guy. at Troy out there now, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's got a kid to be up in the – it's in the eighth grade now to be up here next year. Uh, he almost the biggest Troy. Yes, team. he is. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, our captains have made their way down to the sideline, fixing the way they can make their way out to midfield here for the coin toss. And uh, Dora, we talked about it last couple of weeks, Tony, but Lord have mercy, they played a rough two-game opener. I tell you what, it, it, it's talking coach about it in the pregame. It's valuable snaps for these youngsters down there, though. Yeah, it is. Just, you know, that's, those teams is what you're going to face, you know, as the region, you know, as you get into region play here. You know, that's that's what you need to get ready for those teams. You, like I said, those those two losses mean absolutely nothing. Captains will make their way to midfield with a white hat, and we'll get this coin toss. I don't think we won a coin toss yet. No, maybe we'll break that luck tonight. We need to win one. That's exactly right. I tell you, watching last night, I really enjoyed watching some college football, seeing Penn State in their white jerseys with those big blue numbers that I could see. I really, really. <laughs> now, Tony, I'll tell you one thing. I'm, I'm like you now. I turned on very briefly the Tennessee game last night, but, I mean, just seeing the – just seeing the split of the T and the orange and white coming through. The tradition of college football is what we enjoy so much. Yes. Unfortunately for us, it's no longer a sport. Now it's a business. But exactly. Love the tradition, though. The captain's going to meet at midfield. As we said, Dora has had their way in this series over the years. 41 victories against 13 for Curry and four ties. And Fisher looked down, picks up a coin. Let's see what he says. Looks like he's looking at Dora. Dora has won the toss, apparently. <laughs> Gonna turn him around. Well, like I told the story, like Curry may have won the toss. They'll probably defer. Now they're gonna receive. Okay, so Dora will be kicking off from the south to the north end zone. And uh, 
We're going to have a, another freshman in there kicking tonight, Tony. Uh, Riley Willingham's got a little injury, had a brace on his knee, so I believe our kicker, is that going, is that going to be Dylan Watson, 29? I do believe so. As the teams make their way behind the banners, ought to be a great night. Good football weather. It's cooled off just a little bit here in Dora, Alabama. One more. Uh, got a game here. Want, want tell all of our fans, Tony, we play here tonight. We don't come back here until October 7th after tonight, though. Wow. We got a game next week up at Haleville. We got a bye week. And then we go to corner and then Cordova and then come back home. So it's gonna, we're going to be gone for a while. But we get three out of the last four here at Horace Roberts. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, it does. And those will be right in the middle of the area, games, I do believe. And here come the Dora Bulldogs make their way on the Horace Roberts field. Following the blue and gold banner. Former head coach Johnny Wright down here, Tony. I tell you what, that guy knew something about winning football. Yeah, I tell you, he, he knew how to call the wing tee here at Dora High School when he, he, he ran, ran three plays, but he ran them not just knowing exactly the right time to call those plays. I don't guess as long as I live, I'll ever forget the Sally play 10 yards up the middle by Marquise Chapel to beat Walker down here that night. And that was all set up by them trying to cook with the onside kick yes, right sir. before halftime. That's basically the same thing that happened to Nebraska last week. Oh, get, gosh. <laughs> If anybody knows a number of moving van companies, Scott Frost might need it, I promise you that. Our door is going to kick off to Curry. Curry be receiving one from the north toward the south end zone. Let's see who tees it up for the Bulldogs. That is going to be number 29. That's going to be Dylan Watson. He's a ninth grader. Going to get his first varsity action. Looks like Curry's got back deep. Now he got number 23 back there, Cameron Miles. Let's see who else they got. Looks like maybe number 19 across three. Looks like number maybe 16. Good crowd here at Horace Roberts tonight. Several folks come down from Curry High School. They have a very energetic student section here tonight. I think they're all dressed as Bob the Builders. Well, I didn't know it, if it was out of village people, but anyway, <laughs> it's fine. All right, here we go. Dylan Watson got it teed up at the 40-yard line for Dora. He puts a foot into it, drives it right straight down the middle, taking at the 22-yard line. Coming left side with a hole, and it's number 23, for Curry on the return. That's Miles out to the 38-yard line. Curry have it there, first and 10. Number 59 on the stop for the Bulldogs. I don't have his number, but he looks an awful lot like Cole Chapman. Number 59. All right, here we go. No, Cole Chapman's still out there wearing number yeah, 12. Yeah, Cole's number 12. I don't know who 59 is. Um, We'll try to find out. All right, here we go. Quarterback, number four, Josh Day, standing back behind his center at about the 33-yard line. He'll have one back set behind him. Hand off in the backfield, running room on the left side, and maybe got back to the line of scrimmage in. No further. Good job by the door defense. Coming up very quickly at number 19. Cody Corey Pryor, excuse me. Prior that time again, doing a real good job out there at the defensive end, outside linebacker position for the Bulldogs. Number 26, Cody Cook on the carry that time for Curry. Nothing doing on first down. Dale stay back in pistol formation all night, looking to his right, gets his pass off over the middle. Good pass. Right through the hands of the intended receiver right time. He had him in stride, Colin Page. It'll be third down. Chief quarterback's really got a great arm. Notice that during warm-ups. Like that ball really comes off, spins out of his hand. So it's, it's really, we, ha, we asked our expert spotter, Zach Hedrick, to go ask who he was. He said he was who down? Will Richardson. There you go. All right, third down in the same 10 now for Curry, just underway. We do have him listed. He wears number 21 or 59. 
A little pressure on the quarterback, gets his pass off down the sideline, and he's got a receiver. Oh, boy, threw it up and laid it down for him right at the 30-yard line. Good reception. After that's number nine, Colin Page runs under, under it. 30 yards on the, on the completion and a first down for the Yellow Jackets. T. Curry won the toss, I do believe, and he's likely to take the football. Coach Emerson there, like he's challenged his team, thinks he can come out, put some points up, just a nice, well-thrown ball. The Page ran underneath that time for the first down. And a good job by the Curry offensive line to give him a pocket stand in. And off in the backfield this time, forward running hard down to the 25. Gain of five that time by Cook. And that time Cook just looked like he just kept driving his feet for Curry. Looked like initial had him stop. It looked like he ended up gaining nearly five yards on the run. They'll give him four officially, second down and six. Ten minutes to go in the opening frame here from Horace Robertsfield. Glad to have you with us. Great football Friday night, Door, Alabama. Back again, looking to pass, pass off and drop. Well, I tell you what, that looking pass right there, that's a good, that's a good pass. That kid's got a really good, a strong arm. Intended okay. for number eight, Jonathan Sickles. It's definitely four down territory here, Coach Emerson. Curry, you really don't have to look for that first down here. You can try and come back short and possibly go for it on four downs here. Sixth play of the drive coming up for the Yellow Jackets. Nose of the football at the door, a 25-yard line. A little play action pressure on and gets his pass off. Going to be intercepted by the Bulldogs. And let's see who is that. That is number 11 for Dora, Jaden Griffin with the interception. I tell you, but you got to give the hats off to Corey Pryor that time with a big lick on the quarterback as he was letting go of the ball that time. Uh, six plays and INT for Curry. Good pressure, Tony. You talked about it by the door of defense. That'll give the Bulldogs a football first and 10, and it'll be at their own 21-yard line. Look for number one in this ball game for Dora. Jamarcus Goodman looked at that young man to have an outstanding football game here tonight. For Sean Pryor, number seven at quarterback. He put a man in motion across the formation. Hand it off to Goodman. Gets a block on the outside. He's at the 25. He's at the 30. He's at the 35 and the 40. Steps outside of a tackle to 45. All the way to the 49-yard line. Good start by the Bulldogs that time. Got a good push. Ben was able to get it to get Jamarcus Goodman freed up with a big run. 28 yards on the run by Jamarcus Goodman. Knows the football at the Bulldog 49-yard line. Curry in a three-man front. Quick hitter over the middle. Pass complete. At to the 20, 35, the 30, the 25, and the 20. Stepping inside to the 15 and the 14-yard line goes Garrett Hoagland. Garrett Hoagland that time just into the seam. And a well-thrown ball by Sean Pryor that time. Gain of 37 yards on the play that time from prior to Hoagland. Bulldogs second, first down. Down into the Mr. B's red zone brought to you by our good friend, Mr. B. Mr. B's Express Car Wash Highway 78 right there on the corner of Bryan Road. And a little mix-up in the backfield prior. Keep it doing what exactly what he's supposed to do. He got the football all the way down near the five-yard line. Great run. A little confusion that time in the backfield. Looks like Dora using a little bit more motion than they have to, they had earlier in the year. Looks like they were bringing Eric Rogers across the, the formation that time and helping the blocking also. But Sean Pryor that time just took it up and just got a, a big run out of it. Yeah, busted play. Goes for nine yards. Second down and one for Dora. Go past the outside this time to Hoagland. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Six-yard touchdown pass. Good job that time. That it just walked off of Hoagland that time and just giving him just enough uh, room to get into the end zone. So four plays, 79 yards, and Dora in the end zone here early in the first quarter at the 8-16 mark. Mm -hmm. 
And number 29 for Dora, Dylan Watson, in to attempt his first extra point of high school career. Kick is up. Kick looks good. Kick is good. Timeout on the field. Dora 7, Curry nothing. We'll be right back with you. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At Lee's you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard. And you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Dylan Watson with a kickoff for Dora down to the 16-yard line. Coming across the right side on the return for it. Curry, that is number nine, Colin Page on the return out to the 37-yard line. Curry have it there for their second possession, first and 10. A ton of great series to start the game. That first run by Jamarcus Goodman, just exactly what we expect out of him tonight. Yeah, that's what we need. Last week we struggled when we got down into the, into the Mr. B's red zone. But still this week able to get that into the end zone here to get this early lead. All right, here we go. Curry looking at their second possession now. Is this the first lead we've had this year in a game? You're exactly right. Tony, first lead this year. And off in the backfield that time. Whoa, that didn't go far. <laughs> Stood up initially right there. By Bulldog, that's number 58. Is that Grady? Uh, I'm not for sure there. 58. 59, maybe. 59. That would be Richardson. Richardson. Looks like number five, Eric Rogers, come in Eric with a big Rogers. lick at the end of it. Yeah, Eric that cleaned time. it up. So he'd like to see that out of the, that young man. He's really, that, that's that's one of the hardest licks he's passed as a door bulldog. Cook with three carries now for one yard in the ball game. 731 on the first quarter clock. Looking to pass again. Pass off. Boy, a good job of high point in the football with the reception right straight down the middle of the field. Eric Rogers going to finally run him down all the way down at the 20-yard line. But my gracious, what a good pitch and catch that time. Looks like they caught Dory in a blitz that time. Had one-on-one -on -one coverage in the back. Was able to find a receiver open page there. He's, he's probably their go-to guy. This is six foot. Really just a big weapon back there for the Yellow Jackets. 47 yards on the completion that time by Josh Day. It brings us a, brings them into the red zone now, the, the Mr. Mr. B's. B's red zone. Mr. B's express car wash. I was by there today. All right, Curry with two pass completions, totaling 77 yards in the ball game. Another pass behind the receiver, just a touch behind him. I'll tell you one thing, Tony said it about this quarterback, Dave, kick and throw the football. Yeah, he's got a tremendous arm coaches talking about him this week watching the film and they said he's he's a baller out there second down now for the yellow jackets clock stops 636 to go in the first quarter of play they this time walks up under center now he'll set back in his regular pistol formation he'll have 26 cook right behind him looking to the left side gets his pass off and under throws his receiver out there. It wouldn't have went far if he'd have caught it. Good coverage by the door defense to bring up third down. Yeah, still good coverage, but it, but I think that time when the, the rush got to the quarterback then just didn't give him time to be able to set and step into that and had to rush it just a little bit and just got it out towards his feet. All right, it'll go third down now for Cook. Fourth play of the drive coming up. Cook will step back to his 25-yard line or to Dora's 25-yard line. Looking to the left side again. Heavy pressure on him once again. He had his man open that time. Just had to rush the throw again from the rush, but still just over 
his head out of the back of the end zone for the pass incomplete. Well, as you are Curry to do on fourth down here, Tony, I'm sure they'll probably go for it. Cook could get his play step back into the huddle now. He's ready to go. Gonna put number 13, Jace Calloway, in a slot to the right side. You've got to look for Page here, number nine. He's been his go-to guy. And Curry may elect to spend a timeout right here. Let's see what we do. Timeout for Dora. We'll take it with him. Be right back with you here on the Dora High School Network. Come by and see the all-new Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique, located on Main Street in Summerton. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest cutting techniques and styles. They do color, extensions, and color correcting. And they offer top-of-the-line hair products, jewelry, and clothing. If you're in need of a new look, come by and see Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique in Summerton. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Curry now with a fourth down and 10 football at the Dora 20-yard line just inside Mr. B's red zone. Cook rolls to his right, pressure coming on and gets his pass off. It's going to be intercepted again by Dora. Down the left sideline, trying to cut back. May have stepped out of bounds over there. And that's number 11, the same man who got the first one, Jaden Griffin. Jaden Griffin again, two interceptions for the Bulldogs tonight. Still a... This Dora defense, having they gave up a few plays, but still just not breaking on the defensive side yet. So Jaden Griffin, he stifles two of Corey's, uh, two of Curry's first two possessions with INTs. T, he is looking right now. He's in the early running for the player of the game, for sure, for the Bulldogs. Absolutely right, Tony. One. So four plays that time by Curry, and once again, interception. Dora with the football now, and it's going to be sitting at the 21-yard line. Pass on the left side this time. Woo, uh-oh, almost intercepted. Boy, threw it right to a Curry defender that time. Wow. Uh, pass a little short that time. Right? Prior had time, and it had, looked like he may have had Josh Williams open, just not able to get the ball out to him then. Had him open, just underthrew him, and boy, the Curry man had a chance to pick one off right there and give the Yellow Jackets another possession. And off this time, no. Nope. Yeah, they did hand it off too, and nothing doing. Good job by the Curry defense that time. Yeah, the Curry defense that time had penetration. And allowed Jamarcus Goodman to get to the outside. Then just great, a great job by them. Stuff in the holes. And Jamarcus is going to lose a couple yards on the play. And I believe we got a heat timeout. We'll take it with them. Be right back with you here on Door High School Network. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. 
And back in door now with a third down and 10. Rolling right, looking to pass just over the outstretched hands of Garrett Hoagland down at the Curry 45-yard line. Good pass by Pryor. Just had one little bit of air too much under. Hoagland again had a step on the defender then. Ball just just barely out of his reaches then. But a good call by the, the coaching staff from Dora. So Dora punt the ball this time. Three, three downs and nothing doing that time. And a couple of incompletions, but one good play by the Curry defense over there to stand up Jamarcus Goodman. And Dora will punt it for the first time. See, the bad thing about that was Garrett Hoagland's your snapper after running that sprint. 40 yards down the field. Now he's got to turn back around and snap this football. He does that. Gets a good snap. Low kick's going to hit. Take a door roll inside. Yellow Jacket territory and going to settle all the way down at the Curry. 40-yard line. And the Yellow Jackets have it right there first 10. Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk about some of our great sponsors here. On the Door High School Network, first of all, being our good friend Ken Glover down at Ken Glover Drugs and Door for all your pharmaceutical and medical supply needs. No better folks to deal with than our good friends at Ken Glover Drugs. Sumption Church of God, Pastor Harold Turner, Youth Pastor Philip Walker, and all the great folks over on the hill here on Highway 78 at Summerton Church of God. And Tony, tell the folks tomorrow, first Saturday of football season, what do they need to eat? You need to eat some wings. Give us a call, 205-648-9838. Call us ahead for your wing trays, watching the ball games. Green Top Barbecue, none better anywhere than those Green Top Barbecue. And, Lord, that ranch dressing. Nothing doing for Curry on first down. We'll not get back to the line of scrimmage. And Curry with the youngster down on the field. Let's see if he gets up. He's okay. Yeah, and Mr. Cook hadn't had any luck against this door defense so far running the football. D Dora's defensive line just really having their way. Look like they played, they're playing a um, just look, mixing up their formations just a little bit. Been more of a three man front, but I believe they're more of a four man tonight. 5 0 5 to go in the first period of play. Dora seven and Curry nothing. Look at the pass pressure coming on the quarterback. He's going to get his pass off and. Mm. Yeah, he didn't get it back to the line of scrimmage. You think it might be a case for a flag right there, little, unless he was outside the tackle box. I didn't think in high school you could ground it like that. I still thought you. Well, they didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Line of scrimmage is 39 yards, and they went out of bounds at about 38. But either way, it don't look like they're going to call it anything. Fourth straight incompletion now for Day. Brings up third down and 11. For Curry, and I believe if I was Dora, I would find out where Colin Page and Jonathan Sickles are at on this play right here. Page to the near side now with Eric Rogers on him. Pass off over the middle. First down in stride. Great catch. Go up with the hands. Callaway just snatched the ball out of the air. 12 yards. Another good throw again. They've been having Page in that slot back. But Dora, they've had something against getting it like that with against our defense there when they're getting a free uh, run off the line of scrimmage. All right, the third first down of the ball game for Curry. They're doing a good job of throwing it so far, 89 yards in the air for Josh Day. Hand off back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard that time for Cook will give him one. Yeah, Cook that time had just a little bit of a hold, but just couldn't keep his head up then as he was going through the line. Took a step out and get him a break. Number 23 into the ball game now for the Yellow Jackets, Cameron Miles. Second and nine, clock stopped through, uh, moving at 3.53 to go in the first quarter. Play clock at five. They'll snap it at four. Looking left, looking, looking. And, boy, good coverage by the door defense right there by Roger, but a good completion. Better completion than there was coverage that time. Colin Page on the reception for a gain of five yards. See, Rogers, he, he had him covered up that time just nowhere except just about a smaller window, and he just was able to get – the ball right, Dave was able to just get it right through that one little bit of a window. Well, I'll tell you there. what, kid looked good, Tony. 
Hit a big sack here on this third down and five play. Yeah, hadn't had much pressure on the quarterback so far, a little bit, but hadn't just hadn't gotten him off his game yet. Quick hitter to the outside this time. That's that same man with it. Oh, good job by the door. Defense coming up quick to lay him down. That big number 50 in there for Dora that time, and that's Cade, Caleb Wade Little. Caleb Wade Little that time looked like the pass to Callaway then. May have lost a yard or two. That's what you needed on that third down and five play. So now fourth down and about seven for the Yellow Jackets. See what they elect to do. They, you'd think they'd punt it from here with it only being a seven-nothing ball game. We'll see what they do. May spend a timeout right here. Clock stopped at 2.45, and they will spend a timeout. We'll take it with them. Be right back. Hello, everyone. I'm Maggie Laycock, Marketing Coordinator with Ken Glover Drug, located in Dora. I would like to personally invite you for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience for all of your pharmacy and your DME needs. We supply things like wheelchairs, seat lift chairs, hospital beds, patient lifts, home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP and nebulizers. DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME as it's often referred to, is a covered benefit with almost all insurances and King Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. So stop on in and see us and talk to a rep on how these items can best benefit you. Back in, ladies and gentlemen, fourth down and seven for Curry. Nose of the football at the Dora Bulldogs, 46-yard line. Quarterback Josh Day, 92 yards through the air here in the first quarter. He'll be stepping back into pistol formation here in just a moment. And we're trying to, I don't know what we're doing. And now it looks like we're ready. Day steps back into bull uh, into Yellow Jacket side of the field at the 49. He'll be ready to take a snap. Stepping back. Throws the timing pattern straight up over the middle. Got a receiver down there. He's got it in stride at the 10, at the 5, down at about the one yard line. Looks like number nine again. That's Colin Page. Looked like they ran that little bit of an out and up. They faked a little swing pass then. And Page on the, just the fly pattern that time. That time was just had a step on the man. Day throws it up just enough where he could run underneath it. 44 yards on the completion, 136 yards through the air. Now here in the first quarter for Page. Going to give it off in the backfield this time. Tripped up in the backfield forward for about a yard maybe. By Cook. Clint number two, 22 Krill on the stop for the Bulldogs. Then he's got a knife in from his linebacker position. It's ball at the two yard line down in the Mr. B's red zone. Brought to you by Mr. B's Express Car Wash. Curry Yellow Jackets, second down and goal. Just inside the two yard line. Dave calls for the ball, ball on the ground, gives it off to Cook, and he gets hammered. He gets nowhere. He went backwards that time. A man Cam Gauthier that time with a vicious lick on the running back. Cook that time. Cook with a loss of two yards on the play, bring up third and goal now. Well, let's see our buddy Jim Tom down there by the fence, Tony. Love to see Jim Tom, biggest Bulldog supporter there is. Absolutely you right. guarantee you somebody's going to bark that tonight. <laughs> It's third down as the PA announcer Harold Spradlin just said 101 to go in the first quarter of play and Curry may have to use another timeout. And they do timeout Yellow Jacks. We'll take it with them. Be right back. At Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. 
for pharmacy, medical equipment, and more. Visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Caring for you and about you. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Curry now with a third down and goal. Knows the football at the three-yard line of the door. Bulldogs down deep in the Mr. B's red zone. Quarterback Josh Day, he'll have number 26, Cody Cook, behind him. They've ran it twice. First two downs, nothing to show for it. May look for a pass right here. Looking to the right side, looking, looking, pressure on the quarterback. He tries to roll out of it. Being chased out there, he's going to throw the ball away, and that'll bring up four down. Great pressure on him that time. And that little eye, number 55, chased him down there, Carson Davis. Should have been 59 again, Richardson again. 59, Richardson. Yeah, okay. i got to write his name down, not on our list, up here on my list. Yeah, I think his list is number 21 on, on your, well, yeah. Yeah, William Richardson, 21. He's 59. Let me fix that right quick. I tell you, Richardson's played a tremendous game tonight. He's playing offense and defense. This is, go ahead, Tom. This is fourth down. you got to get a lot of pressure up the middle again against this Curry team, not give quarterback Day much time to throw. Clock stop with 40 seconds to go, and Curry looks like they're going to spend another time out. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention some more of our great sponsors here on Dora High School Football Network, one of them being Edwards Insurance Agency on Main Street in Summerton, Aaron. Chris and Brenda and all the great folks have been affiliated with Aaron, with Aaron and that family for so many years. Been one of our sponsors here for a long, long time, and we certainly appreciate them. Also, want to mention Dover Mattress Closeout Center in Jasper. One of our sponsors came on board with us last year uh, for your mattress and bedding needs, sir. Sealy, sir, or whatever it is, they've got them for you at the Dover Mattress Closeout Center. Scott Ferguson, our friend over on Green Top Hill, Highway 78. There on the left is going toward Birmingham Iron Drive Fitness. If you want to go over there and work out, a great facility, great folks to do business with. No greater place to go than Iron Drive Fitness. And ABC Tire down on Highway 78 on the left, down to Rocky Hollow, going toward Jasper, Brian, and Braden Williams. Down there, two good guys. Known them a long time. They'll do take care of your automotive needs as far as tires and everything. Tony, get a big stop right here. Curry's got two turnovers. Like, turn them over on downs right here and get the ball back. It is. So, Bar Griffith's been the, the star on the defense by, by the takeovers. But here, I, you've got to get pressure in the middle of the day. You can't give him time to find the receiver. Yeah, don't let thing. him. Don't let him. They'll run some type of rub pass or something to that effect. Can't let him stand in, that's for sure. Got his big man out fight wide to the left out there. Don't give the ball off straight up the middle. Runs it right into the end zone. Draw play. Great job. I tell you, you got to take your hat off of the running back from Curry. That time just really hit the hole hard then. Good run that time by Curry. I believe was that Cook that run that one in? I believe it was. I believe it was also. So three yards and Curry within an extra point of tying the football game up. Look like they're going to opt to go for two right here. And they do. Going to roll out to the right side, get the pass off. And, and we've got a flag down in the end zone. That may be interference against the receiver in the end zone for Dora. Let's see what the call is here on this. Pass interference against the Bulldogs. Pass interference to call against the Bulldogs. Well, it'd be a yard and a half. Yard and a half penalty if it is. But still, those are a big yard and a half here for them going for two. Penalty will be half the distance to the goal and replay the try. Half the distance to the goal, replay the try. But, boy, I tell you what, Curry just caught them. They caught them not looking while going on that little old draw play right up the middle there on four down. But it worked to perfection. And the 
hand off this time and in for the extra two-point conversion to see who that was on the run. That it was a quarterback day, I do believe. Quarterback day, he takes it in. And that will make the score Curry eight and Dora seven. So Curry gets the ball, and I mean, they took the ball over back at the 40-yard line and marched it methodically right down the field, Tony, and right through the house. That's a big, big completion, that big third down pass down the field, and that thing went for a while. It went for, I think, about 44 yards. So on the night, Dave for Curry now 136 yards in the ball game. And the Yellow Jackets almost the end of the first quarter, leading Dora 8-7. Kickoff for the Ten plays for Curry. Two for the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And they will kick off now for the first time in the ballgame. Ian Tuggle said to kick it off for the Yellow Jackets. All right, here we go. They'll kick it and it'll go out of bounds. The door had first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Door's gonna have to come back on the last play. They missed on that first down pass. I think you're really gonna have to come in and just establish the run here against Curry and just try and wear them down as the night goes on. Yeah, see, Dora should take the kick. They should take the ball to the 35-yard line, I would think, and they will first and 10. I'd see what Dora comes up with here. This will be their third possession of the ball game. Four plays and a touchdown on the first possession, then you had to go three and out on the second one. So see if Cor uh, Sean Pryor and company can get it going here again and get back on the board quickly. Quick pitch to the outside, this time coming around the right side with it. That is... Number four, Ty Clayton. Ty Clayton. Number four, Ty Clayton on the carry. Big, big run by Ty. He had 90 yards on three carries last week. Yeah, he was a star on the offense there at the end of that game. That time just using his speed again, just get him to the outside on the quick pitch then. 24 yards on the carry in the third first down for Door that time by Ty Clayton. Should have about one more play to go here in the quarter. Hand it off again to that same man, Clayton. He runs forward across the inside the 35 down to about the 33-yard line for a gain of right at nine yards. Good run again by Ty Clayton. Just a little bit of a hole off of the left side. Then uses his speed to gain eight yards. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one quarter play, Curry eight and Dora seven. We'll be right back with you. At Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans, and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Leo and Susie's Famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dora going to be looking now at a second down and one yard. Ball's going to be setting down on the Yellow Jackets just about their 32-yard line. As Ty Clayton has come in here for Dora and gone for 32 yards on two carries. Here's a second down and short situation. That's a great time to play action pass this one and look for Hoagland or for Josh Williams. Or Eric Rogers out on the fly pattern here. All right, here we go. Sean Pryor be standing back outside the 35 at about the 37-yard line. Give the ball off to Goodman. 
He goes forward for about a yard and no further. Good stop by number 42. Tuggle again for the Yellow Jackets. It's a third down for Dora. Number 13 for the Bulldogs, that'll be James Mata. He'll split out to the right side this time. Garrett Hogan, number three, being a slot to the right. Josh Williams, number two, wide left for the Bulldogs. Jamarcus Goodman in the backfield behind Sean Pryor. Quick hitter to the outside this time to Williams at the 30. Side steps a man at the 25, at the 20. He's going to be forced out of bounds down inside the 15 at about the 12-yard line. Great run after the catch that time. Just, just a little – the check down play like we've been running last week. Just hit Josh Williams out there one-on-one -on -one and just able – just made a couple of great shake-and-bake moves to get down inside the red zone. Door down inside to Mr. B's red zone. First down, give it off to number four, Clayton at the 10, at the five. And he gets in, touchdown Bulldogs. I tell you, when he hit that corner, he just looked like he turned it into another gear that time. For the Bulldogs, just a great run. Just his third touchdown on the season for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Ty Clayton, he just adding to his numbers. That gives him 45 in the ball game with that run on three carries. Dora possibly going for two here, or are they still going to kick the extra points? Dylan Reeves on now, they'll kick the extra points. All right, Dylan. Extra point attempt is up, and the attempt is no good by Dylan Watson. So a timeout on the field. Dora 13, Curry 8. We'll be right back. If you need new tires or you need a tire repaired, come see Braden and Brian Williams at the new ABC Tire and Repair on Highway 78. They have new and used tires with all the equipment to mount and balance them professionally. They perform tire rotating and balance. They can patch your tire, plug your tire, mountain balance, and tire pressure sensor, and more. If you need a new or used set of tires, let them price a set for you at ABC Tire and Repair. Give them a call at 205-255-6194. Back in, ladies and gentlemen, Ty Clayton, 13 yards to the house for Dora. Pushes the Bulldogs out now to a 13-8 lead over the Curry Yellow Jackets. 10-40 to go before halftime here at Horace Roberts Field. That drive is 10, excuse me, that drive is five plays, 65 yards. And the Dora kickoff comes down to about the 20-yard line. Fumble on the return. Oh, they're going to say he was down. Oh, my goodness. No, no, no. Oh, no. Kib's standing up when he lost the ball. Wow. Oh, my gracious. Garrett Hoagland with a scoop and score after the whistle there. but Got a flag down back here. The umpire threw it. I don't know what that's going to be about. It's probably going to be against Dora. It's kind of late there. I don't know if Dora wow. may have said something or I don't know. My goodness gracious, that ball was knocked out with the kid standing up. Nothing against the Curry kid, but that was a strip. Yeah, the balls, they got the ball at the 30-yard line. They're going to mark it off to the 45, it looks like. Still haven't seen a call yet here. If I had. It's going to be a personal foul against Dora of some type. They call unsportsmanlike conduct against the Bulldogs. Unbelievable. I don't, I don't think Coach Williams is necessarily agreeing with the Call from the official that time. I'm well, not sure what it was. He I, asked for a clarification for sure. I got news for you. I think Coach Williams was right. That kid was stripped of the football while he was standing up. 
Oh, me. All right, here we go. Reset, 10.31 to go before halftime. Door 13, Curry, 8. First and 10, Yellow Jackets at their own 45-yard line. Great kick by Watson that time, hung it up. Gave the door, guys, time to get down the field and make the stop. See what the Bulldog defense can do here. The man of the hour for Curry, Josh Day. Quarterback, 136 yards in the ball game already. Ball. Ball on the ground again. And Dora's on top of this. And is that 22? 22. That's, That's Creel again. 22 Creel on the recovery that time for Dora. That, that's the old thing that you heard, I've heard in basketball when the ball don't lie. <laughs> so Curry now with their third turnover of the first half. And Dora will have the ball now on the plus side of the field, the 45-yard line, first and 10. Great opportunity for the Bulldogs here to extend their lead here. Ladies and gentlemen, Revival Salon down on Main Street in Summerton, Paula, Alexis, Amber, and all the staff down there go by. And, and for all your hair care needs, they'll take care of you, make you look almost as pretty as me and Tony, but I ain't going to guarantee it. Now they will. They'll do an outstanding job. First and 10, Dora. Sean Pryor standing back at the midfield stripe. Give it a uh, fake it to Goodman. Pass off over the middle. Eric Roger. Eric just took his eyes off there. Just play action that time. Froze the linebackers. Brought Rogers in behind them. Just that, a ball, just a little bit out of his touch reach. That's unusual for Rogers. Tom, we saw him make a reception at Aniana last week. He went up between three players and high pointed the football and just ripped it away from him. All right, here we go. Second and ten. And off to Goodman. Steps inside of a hole and going to be forward to about the 41-yard line. Gets about five yards. Going to bring up third, four yards, bring up third down in a long five. I, I think you've got to go with, you got to give Sean Pryor a one run here. I think you really, you've not really gave him. He had the one run on the, the miscommunication play earlier, but I think you've got to get the ball outside. You really didn't run him much last week. You got Ty Clayton back in the game now, too. 9.50 to go in the half. Pryor back, pressure on him, gets his pass off. And the pressure from number five that time, Alexander Latham, just messed up the pass and didn't give him time to get his feet set and be fourth down for Dora. A lot of time, just, just enough pressure just to not to allow him to set his feet and had to rush that throw just a bit that time. Yeah, brought a rusher off the left edge that time. All right, here we go, number 13 for Dora. That's going to be James Mata wide out to the right this time. Williams and Hoagland give it to, give it over here to Clayton. He needs a block. He got one. He That dissolves. He's going to run again inside the 40. He's face not going to have a face mask, maybe. He lost his helmet. It should have been a face mask there at the end of that play, it looked like. Ball will go over on downs. And, as Clayton gets it about a two-yard game, but that's it. So four plays and give it over on downs if you go up. And Curry will now have the football at the 39-yard line. On the way to go before halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention A to Z Paint and Body Shop out of Jasper for all the automotive paint and body needs. Any damage to your vehicle, Troy Nash and company, great, great folks to do business with out there. First down for the Curry Yellow Jackets. Josh Day back in at quarterback. He'll have Cody Cook behind him. Little play action. Throws the ball up down the left side looking for the receiver in. Oh, boy, had him. Had a good pass. He just dropped it. Rogers again on coverage that time. Yeah, Rogers is pretty well in phase right there, Tony, but I'm going to tell you one thing. He dropped a dime in right then. I tell you, this quarterback really got a good arm. Very accurate then. That stops the clock at 8.37 to go in the half. Door 13 and Curry 8. Second down, Curry sends two receivers wide to the left this time. Door with some pressure coming off each edge right here. Oh, they got him in the backfield that time. Good play. 
That's number 35, Luke Manning on the tackle. Luke with the stop that time for the Bulldogs. That time, first time seeing him back in the backfield for the Bulldogs, putting pressure on Dave. Just a huge, huge loss on that play. Josh Day loses 10. And that will be now third down and 20 for the Curry Yellow Jackets. 8.05 in the clock moving here in the first half of play. Door 13, Curry 8. Back to pass again. Heavy pressure once again gets the pass off. And it falls incomplete. Now Curry will look like he will have to punt it for the first time tonight. It is a... They've either turned the ball over on interception or by turnover or by touchdown all night. It's the first time they punt for the Yellow Jackets. Doris should come out of this with pretty good field position. Tony, old man, number 52 back there on the pressure that time. Big Cam goes shape. Josh Williams, he'll drop back deep for Dora. Stand along his 41-yard line. The center in warm-ups wasn't doing a real good job, but he does that time. Floating kick could be a return on it at the 42. At midfield at the 45 and runs over a Curry defender down to the Dora 39-yard line. Great return that time by Josh Williams. Looked like him and the, the, the tackler may have gotten tangled up there a little bit at the end of that play. But still great field position for the Bulldogs. And ladies and gentlemen, let me mention Stone Landscape, Colby Stone. Does all the landscaping around the athletic fields here at Dora High School. Come by and look at them sometime. If you have need lawn care, needs or anything, call Colby and all the great folks at Stone Landscaping. First and 10, Garrett Hoagland. And now at quarterback for the Dora Bulldogs. He'll have Jamarcus Goodman behind him. Going to give it off to Goodman. Then the left side at the 40, at the 35, and the 30. He's digging forward to the – did not go down to 27, stayed up. He's at the 25 and still going, and he finally wrestled down to 22. Down to the 23 I tell you, it's Joey Higgins made it famous. He's tougher than a Waffle House steak on that run that time. Yes, he just he kept on and kept on fighting. Never heard a whistle. Just keep chugging those legs. I saw a run like that last night in the West Virginia Pittsburgh game same way. Running back to pit, never went down, put his hand down, and kept on going. Kind of reminds me of a game Auburn had against, who was it, Nash Oregon. Florida, Oregon, yeah. Same kind of run. Some running back, I don't remember his name. Running Mike back. Dyer. <laughs> there you go. Hand off to Goodman again. He's around at the 20. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Flag down. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. Got a flag on the play. We'll have to see the circumstance of that. I believe it's going to be holding. Looks like it's going to come back. See the best runs that, jo that Goodman's had this year. I tell you, when you see, see a kid come in hitting the holes like Ty Clayton has, that's, I think that's just up in the game for Goodman tonight. Two penalties for 25 yards. <coughs> now against Dora. <coughs> going to back the ball up to the 30-yard line. And it will be first down and just about 17, first and 17 for Dora. That's in little hidden yardage plays right there, taking points off the board also. Yeah, it is. Not sure where the, you know, mark to put the penalty out from. I door with the football. Hoagland will be standing back at his 35, rolls left. He's looking to set up and pass. Gets his pass off downfield. He's got a receiver at the 10. He's fighting forward at the 5, digging, digging. Touchdown. No, they called him out of bounds. I thought he stayed in bounds. Number 11, Jaden Griffin. Griffin that time fighting and fighting and fighting for those extra yardage again. The Bulldogs into the Mr. B's red zone. Mr. B's went by there today, man. i tell you what. Best thing to do, get you one of them $20 deals where you can go through all you want to. Go through every five minutes if you want to. All right, here we go. Great pitch and catch that time. 23 yards on the completion by Hoagland. And a run this time. That's Goodman. And he's going to be down. 
Wow. Got a flag late that time. This may be the shortest penalty. Personal foul against Curry. That'll be a what, a Tony, about an 18-inch penalty? If that much. Because <laughs> I thought he was in the cross of the end zone. He is awful close down there. You'll have to technically call it a one-yard penalty against Curry, even though it's not. One penalty for one yard in the ball game against the Yellow Jackets. Dora went to the Wildcat last week inside the goal line like this. See, see Garrett Hoagland still back there at the quarterback position. And the ball off of Goodman, nothing doing. Good play, number 35 for Curry comes up and puts him down very quickly, and that is Case and Wade. Excuse me, no, it's Ty Clark. And that'll bring up. Let's see, third down and goal now. Goodman coming out of the game then. See number four, Kai Clayton, a touchdown maker into the ball game. 15 seconds on the play clock. Now we got a stoppage of play and uh, got an official timeout for something. Timeout on the field. We might take just a moment once again. We'll take, take it with them. Be right back with you. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At Lee's you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use. Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard. And you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. And we're back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dora, third down and goal. Ball at the one-yard line. Garrett Hogan in the quarterback, Ty Clayton behind him. Quick pitch. And give it to Clayton. Going to lose three yards on the play that time, fourth down and goal. It's hard for running in the middle of that defense for, for Ty Clayton. You're going to have to get that ball to the outside, it looks like, if you can get him, let him use his speed, make a play outside the tackle box. All right, here comes Jamarcus Goodman back into the ball game for Doran. Number five, Rogers. Off to the right for Doran. Number 11, Jaden Griffin to the right side. Going to roll right quarterback. Look at the pass. He's going to keep it, and he'll walk into the end zone with a touchdown. Garrett Hoagland. Great call that time. Getting a little run pass option to Garrett Hoagland. Nobody ever came up to set the edge, and able to turn, turn the corner for the touchdown for the Bulldogs. So Hoagland with a three-yard run extends the Dora lead. Now to 19-8. See if they go for two right here. There's a book somewhere that would tell them the answer to that. Yeah, I know Lane Kiffin's got it. I know exactly <laughs> where it's at. That guy's analytic crazy. Except on punts. Yeah, on punts, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Timeout, Dora. Timeout for Dora. We'll keep it right here for just a minute. Walker County Recycling, Mike and Terry Owens down on Highway 78. They're located down at the side of the old Bama drag strip down there. You got any scrap metal, anything you want to haul off, go down there and they'll, they'll pay you for it and everything. Walker County Recycling, good folks to do business with. MAK Lumber, that's the old Waterwheel Lumber location down on Horse Creek Boulevard. Eric Hoagland owns that now for uh, all your lumber and building material needs, they'll take care of you down there. Good folks do. Been known them a long time. Been a sponsor for a long, long time as well. 
Design Diva in the Country Village Shopping Center in Summerton. Got all that clothing, boutique stuff for the ladies. Got them uh, loaded tees and everything. And all everybody's so fond of down there. And my favorite, the Bulldog Blast. Go by and see them. All right, two-point try conversion coming up for Dora. Number one. For Dora will be Jamarcus Goodman in the backfield behind. Quarterback Garrett Hoagland. Cole Chapman at an up back. And going to run it to the left and dive in, and that will be two-point try is good. That will make the score. Dora 21 and Curry 8. Time out on the field. We'll be right back. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Watson, number 29, set up to kick it off for Dora again after the touchdown run. Putting the Bulldogs up now 21 to 8. You're turning up the middle this time. Steps out of a tackle out across the 35 to about the 38. That was number 13 Callaway for the Curry Yellow Jackets. Great stop by Ty Clayton that time on special teams for the Bulldogs. So Garrett Hoagland gets his first touchdown of the year, and Jamarcus Goodman with a two-point conversion. And well, I'll tell you what, good to have a little bit of breathing room here for your door. If your door, Curry will take it over on their last possession they punted for the first time they've had three turnovers in the ball game to go along with a punt and a touchdown so the door defense has actually done a very good job 38 yard line for the yellow jackets five minutes to go in the quarter back to the look at the left side throws up a time and down the left side line and well, I'll tell you what, Tony, you can't blame the quarterback. Kid can throw the football. Yeah, again, put it out there again. One on one coverage by Eric Rodgers. I think you're either going to have to get these receivers off these timing patterns. You're either going to have to give them just a little bit of a, a chunk on the line of scrimmage and not allow them to get off the line, or you're going to back off and just have to run with them to hope you can just beat them to their spots. Well, Day is. Uh, Got six completions in the first half. Six completions out of 14 attempts, 136 yards. Handoff this time in the backfield, swallowed up by the door. Defense absolutely nowhere that time for first Cook to go. Eight, just a host of Bulldogs again, just with with penetration then, led by 22 Creel, number 35 Luke Manning, that time on the stop, and number 31 Erbrick in there for the Bulldogs. Yards Number three down. miles on the carry that time for Curry loses five yards. Clock running 4-16 to go in the second quarter. Third down and 15 now for the Yellow Jackets. Dora might, they hold them here, might want to use one of their other timeouts left. And we got see. one left, I think. I think we got two left, actually. No play action pass over the middle and Boy, look, the receiver just quit on the play. My gracious alive. The yeah, quarterback did a great job just leading him in the right spot. Then he was wide open, just Tony. not able to bring that in. Tony just alligator armed it. Man, if he'd stuck his arms out, he'd gone. Good yeah. Lord, what a good pass by the quarterback. Yeah, fourth down here for the Yellow Jackets store. Again, had the good return by Josh Williams the last time. I'd like to see the Bulldogs again. All right, Josh Williams, he'll try it out, stand along his 40-yard line. 
My goodness. Uh, you, can't, you can't put that one on Josh Day. That's a heck of a good pass. High punt. It's returnable again. Josh going to let it hit and roll. He's going to pick it up now. Circles back to the 20-yard line. Going to be forward to the 30. At the 35, looking for a block on the outside. He's got one at the 40, 45, midfield, down the left sideline at the 40. He's at the 30, at the 20. He'll take it to the house. They got a flag down all the way back here at the 40. We'll have to negotiate. We got one standing out, laying out here about midfield also, but 80 yards. Got three of them out there. Three of them now, yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. If we had one more official, we could call it have an amusement park out there. Good, Grace alive. Well, I'm afraid they're going to bring this one back. 80 yard return that time, or 78 yard return, but I don't believe it's going to stand. Got a heck of a block on the outside that time on the return. But somewhere 20 yards away from the play is where the officials got standing by the flag. Got an illegal block in the back against the return team. Let's see where they're going to mark it off from. Going to mark it off from the 39, I guess, back to the 29-yard line. Be third per penalty of the night against Dora for 35 yards. There is also a 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct call against the Bulldogs. And a 15-yard unsportsmanlike against Dora on top of the initial penalties. That's going to be 25 yards worth of infractions. Following the penalties, the ball will be placed at the Bulldogs' 26-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. And Dora will have it at the... 26-yard line, first and 10. Tony, plenty of time to score. 332 left on the first quarter clock. Quick pitch to the outside this time to Goodman at the 50. Is at the 45 and the 40. He'll cut back across field and out of one tackle and fights forward down to the 35-yard line and a gain of 16 again. Great call that time just to get him to the outside and a good run again by uh, Goodman then just to be able to cut it to the outside, pick up big yardage in the first down. Clock. Back in the motion, 217, 216 to go in the first half of play. Doral with two timeouts. Looks like he may have lost his shoe. Jamarcus Goodman now with 94 yards. Play clock has not resumed yet. It's still sitting at 25. Now they turn it on. Plenty of time to get everybody set. Dora with Hoagland's going to keep it around left end at the 35 and the 30. Cuts it inside at the 25 and the 20. And they're going to put him out of bounds down at the 17-yard line. Great call that time, really just keyed on 
on Ty Clayton that time in the backfield. And just Garrett Hoagland slipped out the backside for a big run. Then for the Bulldogs to get it down. Into the Mr. B's red zone, Tony. I thought they were, but I couldn't tell. You're absolutely on it. Good run by Hoagland. Young man's got 20 yards rushing to go along with 23 passing since he come into the ball game. Number 11, Jaden Griffin to the right side for Dora. He's set now. High snap. Give it off. In the back with no ball on the ground. Hogan's going to have to pick it up. He fumbles it again. And I believe Dora got it back. Wow. I want to use the timeout right there if you're Dora. Yeah, if you've got a timeout, this might be the time to regroup here. Got two of them. I don't see Dora taking one yet. Big loss on the play that time by Hoagland. Going to lose about 12 yards on that after it's all said and done. Clock still running, minute 15. Dora seems to be in no particular hurry. Garrett Hogan standing outside his 30 at 31. Takes a snap, steps back, looking left, looking, looking, loads up, gets his pass off down there. And that's intercepted by Curry at the five-yard line. Number 23, Miles. Cameron Miles on the interception. Looked like Curry may have dropped back four or five men back deep that time. Just only rushed two or three. Then just a great job in defense. So Curry gets a turnover now, and they'll take it over. Have 58 seconds to go in the half, but it's, it stalls what could have been another scoring drive. Looked like Fort Dora, but Tony, you said it. A lot of confusion on that drive right there for the Bulldogs. Yeah, well, it's just at the end of that, just really on the play before when they just had fumbled the ball a couple times, really just lost their composure then. So Curry would take over for the last possession of half at the five-yard line. They'll hand it off at the five-yard line, fight forward, and that's running back number 26 that time for Cook, and he'll have about a yard, maybe two. Just not been much running room. Tonight for Curry, just the door defensive line, just really just stacking everything up. Just the only thing, just really got to watch out now for some type of play action pass or double move. You, I would put two men on number nine here. You ain't kidding about that. And Curry will have to snap it one more time at least. Game clock at 20 seconds, play clock at eight. They're just going to run it to the middle. Lay it down there after a gain of one, and I think they'll go to the halftime locker room. All right, Cook on the carry that time. That'll take us to halftime. After one half a play from Horace Roberts Field, Dora Bulldog 21. Curry Yellow Jackets say we'll be right back with you. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. 
They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old-fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, here to the halftime here at Horace Robertsville. Halftime score, door 13, Curry 8. I want to mention our elite roofing scholar athlete of the week brought to you by our good friend kyle chance and all the great folks at elite roofing company here in dora that young man is none other than number 12 my buddy cole chapman down here in dealworth alabama and i'll tell you what that kid tony you talked about him and exactly what you said is exactly right he's just a throwback football player yes he is just hard nose just do whatever you ask is it the linebacker backer position the tight end or the h-back just does a tremendous job out on the field there and just a quality kid, too, known him and his mom, Lindsay. Of course, uh, Kendall Beck, his stepdad, known the whole family, the whole bunch for a long time. He got a little brother, Eli, that plays a little football, too. Yep. But uh, just a good, good family, good kid. Uh, Cole Chapman, number 12. And remember, for all your roofing needs, no better folks in the world to do business with than our good friend Kyle Chance at Elite Roofing Company. And we'd like to thank them for bringing us our Elite Roofing Scholar Athlete of the Week. The band's getting ready to step out on the field and do their show. We'll take a break. Be right back with you here on Door High School Network. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. Walker County Recycling is a commercial and industrial metal recycling company. Bring your scrap to us. We buy aluminum, brass, copper, stainless steel, junk cars, and more. Prices are market-based at competitive rates. We are located on Highway 78 in Cordova and open Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 4 p.m. and Saturday until noon. Bring us your scrap and put money in your pocket today. Leo and Susie's Famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, as the Curry High School band is performing down on the field, want to bring you some halftime numbers here brought to you by Life Unlimited. They present our halftime stats each and every week for the ball for the visiting Curry Yellow Jackets. Ended up the first half with four first downs in the ball game. Twelve times they carried the ball on the ground for minus eight yards rushing. Six out of 17 through the air for Curry quarterback Josh Day, 136 yards through the air, 128 yards total offense for the Yellow Jackets. He had one penalty in the first half for one yard, or actually a yard and a half, I guess you'd say. He had one fumble and two interceptions, total three turnovers in the first half. It kind of uh, held everything down for them. For the home standing door, Bulldogs, nine first downs in the first half, 18 carries, 155 yards, 94 of those by Jamarcus Gooden, another 44 by Ty Clayton. Four out of nine pa combined passing for the two door quarterbacks, 95 yards through the air, 250 yards of offense, four penalties for 50 yards, and they did have the one interception, Tony, down there at the end zone that, uh, that stopped another scoring drive for the Bulldog. But all in all, just an outstanding first half for Dora. 
Yeah, the, the offense has played a lot better tonight. Been able to get get the running backs free for some for some runs, and then plus, you know, had a couple good passes. But the defense has just really played great. Just put a lot of pressure on the quarterback when he's had a little bit of time back there. You know, he's been able to find Page the Page kid, especially at that wide receiver spot. And Tony, want to mention Jaden Griffin in the first half. Two interceptions on the first two Curry possessions in the first half. Some outstanding game so far by that young man. He had a big reception also, so he's done an outstanding job. Ladies and gentlemen, our halftime stats again brought to you by Life Unlimited. We're going to take a break while the bands put on their shows. Once again, the halftime score, Door Bulldogs 21, Curry Yellow Jackets 8. We'll be right back with you. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard. And you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Finished Paint and Body in Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned tradition of the pride of Walker County, the Dora High School Marching Bulldogs. <laughs> the band will be performing a portion of their 2022 program, Darkness Into the Light. Excuse me, Darkness Into Light. Music tonight is by Stephen Wright, Fallout Boy, an Electric Light Orchestra, and Henry Dixon Rhodes. Tonight's soloists are Carson McCall, Judd Holman, and Josh Watson. The band is under the field direction of drum major Sarah Keaton and Anna Brooke Dill. Drum majors, is your band ready? Sit back and relax and enjoy the pride of Walker County and the Dora High School Marching Bulldogs.
If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard, and you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Finished Paint and Body in Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. Leo and Susie's Famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching watching a game game or or call in for carry-out. They They also also provide provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old-fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. Walker County Recycling is a commercial and industrial metal recycling company. Bring your scrap to us. We buy aluminum, brass, copper, stainless steel, junk cars, and more. Prices are market-based at competitive rates. We are located on Highway 78 in Cordova and open Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 4 p.m. and Saturday until noon. Bring us your scrap and put money in your pocket today. Leo and Susie's Famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carry-out. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old-fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Hello everyone, I'm Maggie Laycock, Marketing Coordinator with Ken Glover Drug located in Dora. I would like to personally invite you 
for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience for all of your pharmacy and your DME needs. We supply things like wheelchairs, seat lift chairs, hospital beds, patient lifts, home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP and nebulizers. DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME as it's often referred to, is a covered benefit with almost all insurances and King Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. So stop on in and see us and talk to a rep on how these items can best benefit you.
Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, we not only care for you, but about you. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. Leo and Susie's Famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old-fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. now for Dora. Back to pass again, loads up the arm, double coverage this time, and intercepted by Eric Rogers this time. He got it at the 40, back across midfield at the 45, and the 40, and the 35, 30. He's down the sideline. He's got a convoy at the 10, at the 5, and he's into the end zone. Got a flag, comes flying in. 61 yards if it stands. Well, we got a flag over on the Curry sideline over there. Now we may have a block of some kind, illegal block or something against Dora. Let's I, watch it. I think earlier they may have called us for the for a for a, 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 a the personal foul was more just a late hit behind the play like that. They cracked out a lot of those. Not for sure what this one is. This still should be Dora Ball though. Be door a ball, wherever it is, they're going to mark it off. And it looks like from down around the Curry nine yard line. If it is, it'll go backwards for probably 15 yards back to the 24. Block in the back. Is okay, the so block in the back the against Dora. So it's only a 10 yard penalty nonetheless. Another penalty against Dora. Curry's third Probably interception on the night, fourth the turnover. The Back in the Mr. B's red zone again. Get to start off in the Mr. B's red zone, this time on the plus side of the field. Both times, the last one on the 18, this one on the 19, 19 really. exactly right, Tony. 
Three plays for Curry on that drive, 19 yards and an INT. Ty Clayton back in at, wide, at running back. Player trying to get into the ball game late here for Doris. Now a little confusion. Right. Are we set now? Looks like we're set now. Number 19, Cody Pryor. Still never had started the 25 second clock on the field. Pop pass in front there to Hoagland at the 20, at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. He's got another touchdown. That's officially a 19-yard pass that time for the score. Good run that time by Garrett Hoagland, but a great block by Ty Clayton that time sticking his helmet in there for the Bulldogs. So prior to Hoagland, that works for the second time tonight. This time from 19 yards out. To extend the door lead now to 34 to 8 with the extra point coming. Dylan Reed is going to attempt the extra point. Snap. Extra point attempt is up. And it is good. Time out on the field. 9.51 to go in the third quarter. Door 35. And Curry 8 will be right back. If you need new tires or you need a tire repaired, come see Braden and Brian Williams at the new ABC Tire and Repair on Highway 78. They have new and used tires with all the equipment to mount and balance them professionally. They perform tire rotating and balance. They can patch your tire, plug your tire, mount and balance, and tire pressure sensor and more. If you need a new or used set of tires, let them price a set for you at ABC Tire and Repair. Give them a call at 205-255-6194. And kick off to Curry down at about the 15-yard line. Return to the right side. The Dora coverage team is going to wrangle the Curry deep man at about the 24. The Yellow Jacks have it right there first and 10. That time, the kicker put a big foot into that and drove that ball inside the 15-yard line then. And I've been saying uh, Dylan Watson, that, his dad was Jeremy Watson, but he lives with his grandparents, Gene and Linda Reeves, so he may be, told him, maybe Dylan Reeves, so if I've got that wrong, I'm in error, but it's the same young man either way, and he's done an outstanding job tonight. Yeah, Harold's been working with him on kicking, so he probably knows that. Mm. All right, here comes Curry out now for their second possession here of the second half. Last time, three plays and interception. Gonna run the ball on first down here. Gonna get out across the 25 up to about the 28 yard. That'd be a gain of about three that time. That's Cody Cook running it again. He's run hard tonight. Not a lot to show for it. Got eight yards on 11 carries now. The time had a, had a good run, had a little bit of a hole, but the speed of that door defense closed in. Then was able to bring him down quick. Second down and six now for the Yellow Jackets. Five, four, three on the play clock. They snap it at two. And boy, good gracious, nothing to do that time. Cam Gaucher, my gracious, Tony been all over the defense tonight. My goodness, got you a shot out of a cannon again that time. Loss of five on the play that time with Cody Cook. Third down now. Third down now for Curry. Football now resting back at their 23-yard line. Got to take it all the way to right at the door of 35 for a first down. 
Back looking, looking heavy pressure. And oh, my good gracious, alive. 5 2. Cam Gaucher again with a big sack for the Bulldogs. He's really asserting his presence on that defensive line. My Lord, Tony, he just knocked a hat off that poor old running back cook back there, or the quarterback actually that time, Josh Day. Josh Day is minus 20 yards on the ground now on two carries, and Curry going to go three and out just like that. I don't know, Cam, Cam Gaucher, Tony, between him and Jaden Griffin, good gracious. They played some defense in this ball game. Door should have an excellent field position once again. Low kick's going to hit. Touch a door, man. Going to touch another door, man. Now they dive back on top of it at the 25-yard line. Bulldogs' worst starting position of the field. Worst field position starting of the second half. On the plus side of the field at the 25-yard line this time. Seven. 7.26 to go in the third. Dora 35. Dora 35 to 8 over Curry. Here comes the offense back out. Sean Pryor, he'll lead them out. Number one, Jamarcus Goodman in the backfield, as always. Number five, Eric Rogers, wide to the right for Dora. Number three, Garrett Hogan, who's out an outstanding ball game wide left. Josh Williams in a slot left. Eric Rogers in the slot right here. We go handoff in the backfield too. Goodman, though they fake the handoff. Quarterback prior keeps it to the 20. Follows the block to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He's digging. He's going to be down. Looks like at the 2-yard line. Another good call that time by the Dora coaching staff to get Sean Pryor into the uh, red zone for the Bulldogs and nearly into the end zone. Mr. B's Express Car Wash, Highway 78. Right there beside the Little Caesars and the Verizon there on Highway 78, adjacent to Brian Road. Go by. Got a Curry player down over here. Want to make sure that young man is okay. Hope he is. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of our great sponsors we talked about all night tonight. I want you to remember all of them, Ken, Glover Drug, Summit Church of God, Edwards Insurance, Tony, and all the folks at Green Top Barbecue, Dover Mattress, Closeout Center, Iron Drive Fitness, ABC Tower. Revival Salon and so many more we'll be talking about as the game goes on. But Tony, just an outstanding uh, second half for Dora. And i tell you one thing, uh, going to be good to get a win here at Horace Roberts Field tonight, too, if we get it. Yes, it is. This is what the Bulldogs needed now, be able to get, get a little bit of breathing room, be able to play, you know, be able to set up some stuff and just be able to work on some things now. The young man from Curry is still down over on the right sideline, out of bounds over here, and they're tending to him. Curry not with just a with, – with a player injury, we'll take a break. We'll take a timeout and be right back with you. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At Lee's you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard. And you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dora first and goal at the one-yard line. The injured player for Curry, number 42, Ian Tuggle. Thankfully, that young man is up making his way off the field under his own power. And he's not hurt. 
Good hard running that time by quarterback Pryor. 22 yards down to right at the one yard line into Mr. B's red zone. Pryor with the snap, give it off to Ty Clayton. He forward into the end zone, touchdown Bulldogs. Great run by Ty Clayton again, just to be able to get on the scoreboard. I think that's five, four touchdowns for him in the last two weeks. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to start calling him Mr. Touchdown. Every time he touches the ball, he gets in the end zone just about. Ty T.D. Clayton. All right, Hoagland will hold. Dylan Reeves in to attempt the extra point again for Dora. Bulldogs up 41 to 8, 6. 50. I don't know why the clock's running on the extra point attempt, but it is. The clock is up. The kick is no good. And the kick is no good. Score, lead the score. Dora 41. And Curry 8. We'll be right back. Come by and see the all-new Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique, located on Main Street in Summerton. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest cutting techniques and styles. They do color, extensions, and color correcting. And they offer top of the line hair products, jewelry, and clothing. If you're in need of a new look, come by and see Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique in Summerton. Hey Dora Bulldog fans, I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dora ready to kick the ball off again. Dylan Reeves puts a big foot into it down inside the 15 at the 20. Good return up the right left side up to the 32-yard line. That young man running the return that time is Colin Page. Done an outstanding job tonight for Curry. Page again. I tell you, he's been a great threat at that wide receiver position. All right, Dora with two quick scores. Two-yard touchdown drive once again for Dora. The last one they had was one yard, and the one before that was two yards. So three, excuse me, three touchdowns real quick here in the first half. We got a timeout on the field once again. So Tony, looking next week, looking forward just a minute, Dora. Going to go up the highway, up Highway 5, there's a hailable. Take on the Lions up there, another uh, important region game. As we're on the air tonight, last score I seen on it, I think uh, corner was up on Haleable by a couple scores. So Cordova. Yeah, Cordova. I'll have to check on that. See, yeah. it may be Cordova play. It may be Cordova and Haleable. Yeah, it's Cordova, right. Haleable, and Corner and Hamilton tonight. Corner I've been Hamilton, getting the updates right. from my uncle yeah. Preston on that. And Corner's got a big lead over them tonight. Yeah, Corner. Uh, be another good test for us. Cordova going to be a good test. Another game I'm interested in tonight. Oak Grove is playing north side. That was a very good, this was a one score game the last time I seen an update on it. All right, here we go. Curry with the football. Hand off in the backfield. Corey Pryor with a big stop that time for the Bulldogs Ooh. on Cook. I'm going to tell you one thing. Hey, young man, Mr. Cook, he, he going to need him a, a a good warm shower after this one's over. He has taken a beating tonight. Done everything he could in the ball game. He's got 10, 11, 12, 13 carries in the game now for two yards. And, and a two-yard touchdown run, I believe, or a yard and a half. I think you're absolutely right. He got the first run, three-yard run for Curry for their only score. Little bobble in the backfield. Quarterback has to keep the football going, get his pass off, and it'll fall incomplete just they high of the intended receiver, number nine, Colin Page. Good job, Eric Rogers in coverage that time. Really could have took a big lick on him. I think he may have been a little bit injured there, trying to get the officials. May have come in with a cramp then. Yeah, Rogers got him a cramp. 
it's still humid and hot. It ain't quite as hot as it has been, but it's still out. It's still Alabama weather. Good gracious. It's so number 10, Bartley Black in for the Bulldogs. Back to pass again. Heavy pressure on the quarterback. Gets out of that. Corey Pryor's after him. He won't outrun him. Gets his pass off, and it'll fall incomplete. Bring up fourth down now for the Yellow Jackets. Stay pressured by Pryor. Corey Pryor got all kind of speed. He, he would never outrun him around the corner. No, and then and also big number 73, Braxton Jefferson in pursuit also. Braxton is a large young man. I don't know exactly what his stats are about how big he is, but he's, he's a big young man. He, his, his shadow. His shadow probably mm. weighs 260. At least. See number 67, Braxton Wright in the game for the Bulldogs. Also. And Curry now going to punt the football. Fourth down. And I believe we've got a delay of game penalty. I can't have it be the leg game. We got a penalty down. Maybe it's illegal substitution or something. Well, they're not calling anything. They just picked it up. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well, a good kick. Door didn't send anybody back. Ball's going to roll in the 25, inside the 25, and settle at the 26 yard, 21 yard line. Door never just sent anybody back to receive the punt. We weren't sure if they thought Curry would, was actually going to punt that football that time, I do believe. Yeah, in any case, Dora have it back at the 21-yard line. Seen some young pups in on the Bulldog defense that time. Look to see what the door does on offense now. Minute and 45 seconds to go with the clock running. Here in the third quarter, Dora 41 and Curry 3. Yeah, Tony, totally be interested to see who Dora sends out personnel-wise right here. Bartley Black, one of the backup quarterbacks, sent him in on defense then. You possibly see him in at the quarterback position here. Yeah, probably get to see some of the bull puppies in here for a little while. That'd be all right. It looks like number 10 is going to come out at quarterback, and that is Bartley Black. Black in at the quarterback. He's standing back inside his 20. Little pitch to the outside that time. Running out across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Let's see who that running back was. It's like number 28, I do believe. 22, big Creel in at the court running back position. Plays a lot of, on defense there. It's the backup running back here. All right, 22 Creel on the carry that time for Door. Creel, a young, a good looking running back back there. He's a 10th grader for the Bulldogs. Picks up five yards on his first carry of the game. Bartley Black resets Krill to the right side this time. Letting the play clock run. He'll snap it down about five. And pitches out to him on the right side. Ball gets on the ground. Krill's going to pick it up and break a tackle at the 25. He's at the 30. He's at about the 33-yard line. I believe he's got first down yardage out of that disassembled play right there. I think that was just the way they drew it up that time. Absolutely right. Gain of six that time by Creel. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter play. At the three frames, Dora 41. Curry 8 will be right back here on Dora High School Network. Come by and see the all-new Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique, located on Main Street in Summerton. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest cutting techniques and styles. They do color, extensions, and color correcting. And they offer top of the line hair products, jewelry, and clothing. If you're in need of a new look, come by and see Revival on Main Hair Salon and Boutique in Summerton. Hey, Dora Bulldog fans. I'm Pastor Harv Turner from the Summerton Church of God. I know you're looking forward to an exciting season of football fun. If you're looking for a home church or just a place to stop by and meet some incredible people, we would love to have you. We have something for all ages on Sunday morning at 1030, Wednesday nights at 630, something for the kids, something for the teens, students, the adults. We would love to have you. Go dogs! Have a great year. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Dora with the football. The first down and 10. 
Ball at the 33-yard line. Well, you need to flip the teams around. Got the teams on the wrong side. No, they got them right. They got them right? Yeah. They're going the wrong way because Curry don't have a football. Either got the chains backwards one. That's what the problem is. <laughs> well, I bet they feel bad. <laughs> They're still tangled up over there. Good grace is alive. They still messed up. It can't be further down than that. Thirty-three, Nigel Bailey in the ball game for the Bulldogs. Nigel Bailey. Here's your handoff. Hard run on the right side. That man, twenty-two, just broke a tackle. He's got ten. Give him fifteen. Give him twenty. Twenty-five and thirty. Got Thirty-eight it. yard lines on the run. Thirty-eight yards on the run that time by Creel. Got a flag on the play and an injured Curry player down. Looked like he's grabbed his knee pretty quick. I hate to see that. Well, we'll have 33 yards on the carry if it stands. Let's watch it. See what we get. John Creel. Let's see what the white hat gives us. Holding against Dora. That's a heck of a run for it to come back. Yeah, I hate to see that come back. Just a just a little gutty run by Creel that time. Mark it off from the spot of the foul. Going to put it back to the 33 yard line. Going to be first down and 12. Youngster from Curry is up and okay. We're glad to see that at his number 56. That young man has been Pavlicek. Pavlovich. Pavlovich is the injured player. Hope he is sure okay for these young yellow young jackets. And if Absolutely you right. Play, what do you do? So after all that run, 32-yard run, I it's mean, still first and ten. First and ten. Creel just ripped off an outstanding run, but it's going to come back. The holding foul is going to put be Dora's fifth penalty of the night for 60 yards worth of infractions. All right, first and ten. Bartley Black in at quarterback for Dora. Trying to catch that running back behind him. He kind of small. Pitches it out to him quickly. 27. 27. He gets it back to the third. Chris Hagler? Chris Hagler. Chris Hagler, okay. Hagler only carried that. Not much going there, I tell you. Not for sure. First time I've seen him. I, I played football with a Chris Hagler here at Dora. Was a great running back here in his time. Well, that young in there looks like he got a set of wheels on him. He's going to have to get some size. 11.09, the clock running to go in the ball game. Door on top, 41-8 over Curry. Bartley Black calls for the ball. Looking to pass, decides to tuck it down and run it at the 30. It's outside at the 35. He's at the 40. He's at the 45 at midfield. He's got first down yardage where they're going to step him out of bounds at. Line of scrimmage is a 33. Looks like he's going to have 16 yards and a first down. Good run by Bartley that time. Looked like just dropped back. He was going to try and pass one time, but nobody opened. Just tucked the ball down and ran. You really like to see a young kid like this get a couple chances to throw the football here. These kids, they work hard all week in practice, and I like to see them just be able to run a little bit of their offense here. 16 yards on the run by Bartley Black, the 13th first down of the ball game for Dora. Clock moving at 10.05 to play. And off again, coming around the left side, looking for running room and nowhere to go that time. Number 27 on the carry, that's Chris Hagler again. T. Bartley Black is a – 
legacy quarterback. His granddad, Ronnie, was a real good quarterback for the Bulldogs back in the 70s. So second down now for Dora. Yeah, I tell you what, Tony, it's good to see these families bring their kids back to school here at Dora. And as you talk about generation, ain't nobody in this world knows more about generational football than your family does. Four generations played at Dora High School. All right, Black standing back at his 42-yard line. Going to hand the ball off to Hagler again. Get around one tackle. He tries to get out of the second one. He's going to get chased down by the Curry running back, Cody Cook, who's playing on defense. Loss of about three yards. Still not much running room that time for the Bulldogs around the end. Hagler fighting, fighting. Still lost a few on that play. Number 44 into the ball game for Dora as well. Bryce and Roush. In the concession stand right now, we have half price hamburgers and steak sandwiches. That's two of the Roush kids in the ball game now, Tony, for Dora. Bryce and in there, we saw Jaden Roush earlier. A little bit of a high snap, fake a handoff, Cook. A black keeps it, he's at midfield, stiff arms a man holding. The flag down probably going to be holding as Black carries it all the way down inside the 30 to about the 27-yard line, but it's probably all coming back. Now the, like that white hat call that, call that play from the hole from the behind the play that time. Let's see where they mark it off from his play. It's going to be a 10-yarder against Dora out of the way. Six penalties on the night for 70 yards against the Bulldogs. They'll mark this one back inside the 35. Let's see where they end up. Looks like it's going to end up around the 31-yard line or so. It's going to be at the 31-and-a-half-yard line. One of our great sponsors tonight, friends. Remember Iron Drive Fitness, ABC Tire Revival Salon, A to Z Paint and Body Shop. Also Stone Landscaping, Walker County Recycling, M and K Lumber. 7:20 in the clock, moving. And the ball off of the back of the ground again. That's number 44 on the carry that time for Dora, all the way up to the 45-yard line. And Tony, that's Bryce and Rouse again. Bryce and Rouse, another one of those young pubs. Out there, another good run on that third down. But I got to think that the Bulldogs probably will not punt the football here with their, uh, maybe not. Here they come. Here comes the punting team. And the 44 Rouse with 13 yards, and door looks like, as you said, Tony, they will kick the ball to Curry. So he drops back to punt. That'll be number two, Josh Williams for Dora. Three touchdowns on the first three possessions in the first half. This one, Dora runs a player on late. Good end over end kick. Fair catch call for and fumbled by Curry. And the ball still on the ground and still being fought for. I think Dora might have got on the football. Yeah, looks like one of the players, number 31. Is that Herbert? I think that would be Jaden Herbert coming in late to pick up the, the fumble punt for the Bulldogs to set him up in Mr. B's red zone. Tony, I tell you what, Curry just had the turnover bugaboo tonight. Two fumbles. Now to go along with three interceptions, five turnovers in the ball game. Let's see where they're going to spot the football at. Looks like it's going to be spotted down about the 17. Let's see, yeah, about the 17-yard line is what it looks like in the Mr. B's red zone. So do I have it on the plus side of the field? That's the bad thing about having your starters in the ball out of the ball game, but you had to bring them back in. Don't just glad you didn't see anybody get hurt then. And off again for Dora running hard. That's Rouse with the football. Bryce is going to pick up about two yards on the play that time. Number seven, the jacket. Another hard run by Rouse that time. Dad, I tell you, was just a tremendous pullback back on that 0-2 team. We got an official timeout on the field. Let's see what this is all about. Now, this may be a water break on the field. If it is, we'll take it with them. Be right back with you here on the Door High School Network. 
MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber. The Design Diva specializes in bringing your creations to life. We are here for all your vinyl, blanks, and design needs. Come see us for a great shopping experience. We carry boutique, gifts, and accessories. We have designers that keep up with all the latest trends and styles for every season and event. We also carry school accessories and attire with many designs to choose from. Be sure to check out Diva Nutrition, serving nutritional teas and protein shakes with over 200 tea combinations and 50 shake flavors. The Design Diva, your favorite place for tea and a tea. And back in door now with a second down and six after the Rouse run, ball on the ground. And it's going to be picked up by quarterback Bartley Black. He's around the right side. He's going to take it to the house. Broken play. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful to see. 14 yards that time by Bartley Black. That that takes over for the the annexation of Cuba play right there. I think that was just drawn up again by the little fumble rooster there that time. Unbelievable. 437 to go in the ball game. Bartley Black picks up a miss, a fumble snap, scoops it up off the ground, takes it to the house. 14 yards to extend the door lead now to 47 to 8. Dylan Reeves in to attempt the extra point. Out of the hole, Garrett Hogan. Snapping the placement are good. The kick is up. Kick hits the upright, no, and it is no good. no good. <laughs> I'd leave the score door 47 and Curry 8. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. I'm Maggie Laycock, marketing coordinator with Ken Glover Drug located in Dora. I would like to personally invite you for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience for all of your pharmacy and your DME needs. We supply things like wheelchairs, seat lift chairs, hospital beds, patient lifts, home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP and nebulizers, DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME as it's often referred to, is a covered benefit with almost all insurances and King Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. So stop on in and see us and talk to a rep on how these items can best benefit you. Back in, ladies and gentlemen, Bartley Black picks up a fumble snap that time. He takes it into the end zone for a 14-yard touchdown run. Bartley with two carries on the ball game for 30 yards and a score. Outstanding job by that young man. And Dora extends her lead to 47 2-8 with 2.40 to go in the contest. Curry with the return, running hard out to about the 35 as yet another flag comes flying in. And comes in from the side, Judge, way back standing on the off other side of the field at about the 45, but he saw something down there he didn't like. Miles on the return. And I'm not sure what this would be here. Now we got a targeting foul. Personal foul, the call against the Bulldogs. Personal foul targeting is the call against Dora. He's going to push the ball down to the 20-yard line to the Mr. B's red zone. Didn't see anybody get ejected on that. That's the last thing you need right here at the end of this ball game. Not had to. No, it was against Curry. I'm sorry because they backed them up. 
Yeah, it was against Curry because he pointed that way and they backed him up. A little confusion on the handoff that time and nowhere to go for the Curry running back. And he'll go down under a scrum down at about back at about the 15. We want to talk about our player of the game, Tony, and I think we all come to agreement. We want to talk about number four, Ty Clayton. Yeah, he is. Ty came in and gave us a spark last week at the end of the ball game after we with a couple of touchdowns and continued tonight to come in just like he just energized that running back core for the Bulldogs with a couple of big runs, but it gave us a, a touchdown in the ball game when, and when we were down eight to seven, had a big play on special teams. Just really just had a real good night coming in, getting some playing time here. Yeah, Tony, touchdown runs of 13 and two yards for Ty Clayton as you see the Curry run. Out across the 30-yard line, yard line, out across the midfield, down the left sideline he goes, and he finally going to be run down by Rouse all the way down to the door, 25-yard line. But our Wilson machine will play the game again. Number four, Ty Clayton for the door Bulldogs. Big run by Cook, I believe, that time for the Yellow Jackets that time. Really, at the end of it, he... Had to punch and lick on when the Bulldogs may have injured himself. 60 yard run that time. And that's the end of the ball game. That's the end of the ball game. And that will do it. Final score Dora 47 and Curry 8. The Tony outstanding football game for Dora on both sides of the ball. More importantly, like Coach Williams said in the pre game show, it's a region game and we're a 1 0 in the region. That's what that's really matters. That's right, we're just really coming up tonight. T. Curry had a lot, lot of momentum by the win last week, breaking a long losing streak. Door coming in here tonight, you know, got the lead, lost it there, a couple good plays from Curry, but still just a, a great job by the Door Bulldogs now, gotten a little bit of confidence, getting a little, few things worked out on the offensive line. They've looked better and just looks like they If you need lawn care maintenance, use who the Bulldogs use, Stone Lawn Care. Call Colby Stone at 205-471-1985. They do complete lawn maintenance, landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, fall cleanup, or just simply cut your yard, and you can request a free estimate. No job is too large or too small. Always prompt and professional, and you can bet the job will be done right. Stone Lawn Care, 205-471-1985. Finished Paint and Body in Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. 
Health Mart, caring for you and about you. MAK is your local lumber and building supply store with the vision of becoming your one-stop shop that is right around the corner for everything from framing packages on new builds, remodels, and anything in between. We offer a wide spectrum of items from deck packages with installation options to plumbing, electrical, and roofing supplies. Our team is here to help you tackle any project, whether you're a pro or a do-it-yourselfer, and we'll load your lumber for you. Come see Chris and Eric Hoagland at MAK Lumber.